Hey guys, my name is Jessica Hewitt and I am here today to talk about the pinwheel phone. I am a mom of five kiddos. They are aged 11, 12, 13, 14, and 16. So we are living the life of teens and tweens around here. Um, I have previously done a review about the pinwheel phone and I will link that below in the description. But wanted to give you an update because my son had been using a pinwheel phone and now my 11 year old daughter is using it. So as you can imagine, they use it differently. Um, my son used it primarily just to get in touch with people for pretty utilitarian reasons and then had a few games on there that we deemed not very addictive, um, chess and some other fun things. My daughter, enjoys communicating with her friends. So she likes to talk on the phone and she likes to um, text with her friends. So we've loved the pinwheel because it really does grow with your child. So with our son, um, it's been great because we've been able to give him continued freedom. So everything in our house with our kids, they can tell you this mantra, everything either builds trust or breaks trust. And so every decision they make is gonna do one of those two things. And with more trust, you get more freedom and more responsibility. And so um, we were able to, we started with the pinwheel phone. We had group texting off. We had image texting off for him. And he continued to just build trust through his computer usage, through his texting. And we monitor everything with Bark. And so um, we were able to see how he was using things and um, how he would confess things if he, if something was sent to him or how he was just dealing with um, technology. And so we felt like he was building trust with us. And so then we turned group texting on and then we um, turned image texting on. And so he had a lot more freedom. So that was really fun to bless him with the fruits of being faithful with the technology he'd already been given and then give him more freedom with that. So that was really, really cool. And um, that's something that's um, a little bit different than some of the competitors who just turn it off and, and there's no option. Um, so with our daughter, um, she is not giving us any reason not to trust her, but we have her kind of started at a lower level. So she doesn't have, um, image texting yet, but she does have group texting and um, she doesn't have as many contacts in her phone. That's a great thing about pinwheel phone is that you set the contacts you can set them in their phone or you, um, Pinwheel has a great caregiver portal. You can access it on the web, on your phone or um, on your computer. You can add, you can remove, you can approve um, contacts. So if someone contacts them, it goes in the caregiver portal. They don't ever see it on their phone, but then you can approve that person or you can block that person. Um, another great thing about the caregiver portal, I think I talked about last time, is you can see every single text. So, for instance, um, Pinwheel is awesome in that it lets Bark monitor everything. Some of the competitor phones don't. Um, but on the um, Pinwheel caregiver portal, you can see every text. So, Bark might alert you to something. It seems sketchy you're not exactly sure what that conversation is about, you go on the pinwheel portal and then you can read the entire conversation. And so um, that's a great thing. But another really cool thing that we love um, is that pinwheel allows Spotify or Spotify kids. We have not let um, our tweens use Spotify on their phones because of a few reasons. We didn't want them to have full access to the songs that were on there. We also didn't want them to have full access to some of the um, cover art that is on that is available on Spotify, as well as some of the videos that are available on Spotify. Um, we just felt like that material wasn't appropriate for them. And so um, there is Spotify Kids. Well, initially Spotify Kids was not really appealing to our children because um, it was a lot of like kids bop and um, younger, I mean, even younger music, kind of like preschool music. And so they have updated their interface. And now if you have a Spotify premium account, which I can't be an affiliate of or anything, it's just a cool thing I wanted to tell you all about. Um, they, you can have their account, you can make a playlist in um, where you're managing your Spotify account and then share it with them. And then in their Spotify kids, they can listen to whatever songs you've made for them. So it's not limited to just the Spotify Kids library, it's whatever you've added for them. And so it's a great feature. So now our kids can listen to um, 
the music that they like and oddly enough our um, 11 year old daughter likes everything from 80s to country to um she has her worship playlist and then she has obvious, um modern day like um you know music so she has very varied very um varied taste but anyways that's been a great thing so we love when we can bless our kids with freedom um, and the pinwheel phone allows us to do that without um, the dangers that are out there um, on some of the other phones. It's, it's a great balance. It doesn't completely um, block out everything if you want to give some freedom, but it also doesn't completely expose them to everything. So um, anyways, just wanted to update you guys on how it's going. I have a discount code that I'm going to put in the comments. It'll give you 10% off your phone. So be sure to use it and y'all have a great day.